video. Oh, the, uh, you know how electronically minded I am. <laughs> I got to be one of the best. Ken and I are a lot of like right there together. Hey, what have you heard about him lately? Have I actually had lunch with him today. Oh, did you? Really? Mm -mm. <coughs> Three, two, one. This is CNEagles.com. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head softball coach of Vicki Kazee Hollifield for the Vicki Kazee Hollifield Show. Vic, big weekend this weekend. You uh, head off to Anderson, a game back of you in the sack standings. I, I guess it's more of a game and a half just because of a game under protest with LMU at this juncture that officially hasn't been completed, but nonetheless, you're a game back of first, a game back out of a three-way tie of fourth place. Just what does, exactly does it mean now, in the final couple of weeks of the season, with the chance to control your own destiny for a SAC regular season championship? That's right, and that protest is between Anderson and, and, LM, and LMU, LMU yes. not not with us. But right. but you're right, you you hit it. It's it's a big weekend. Uh, but Adam, uh, the first initial conference game that we play. I remind our kids, you're playing for a conference championship. So uh, that way they hear that all season long. Uh, however, we know we've got three doubleheaders left. We, we know where the standings are, and uh, we've got a chance, you know, uh, just like everybody else does. So, uh, But we'd like to take matters into our own hands. I don't know any coach that would prefer it any differently than to rely on someone else beating somebody else. Uh, but, but we look forward to it, but uh, we know it's a great challenge. How do you maintain a game-by-game -game attitude, I suppose, especially a Anderson's a good team, and then next Thursday you face off against a Mars Hill club that's on top of the sack standings with Tusculum? Well, you take them one at a time. I mean, there's no talk about Mars Hill right now. There's no mention of Brevard right now. Uh, we're glued in and, and concentrating on Anderson, and uh, they hit the ball extremely well. Uh, that's kind of their forte, and uh, we, we've got to do a good job to keep those batters off balance best we can. What's Swigert do, the, their big bat in the order at, at the plate that's uh, so effective? Well, she's just very aggressive. Actually, they're top six batters. Uh, they swing the, the ball very effectively. I'm not counting now the bottom three, but those uh, first six are uh, they're probably one of the most aggressive teams in the batter's box that I've seen this entire year. Can you compare what they do offensively to anything that Brittany Hefner, Sarah Kelly have done this year? Well, I think uh, hopefully we've got more than those two, Adam, but uh, uh, their lineup, uh, they, they can match us as far as aggressiveness uh, and going after it. Uh, they've got a lot of RBI numbers. If you look at them statistically, uh, we do too. Uh, we, we both are pretty close, I think, in a lot of those uh, areas. But, um, again, it, it'll be a great matchup. What kind of message do you have for your team coming off of a weekend sweep or a weekday sweep of USC Aiken, uh, a second game where you give up a school record 19 hits but still manage to pull out a victory 4-3? to three. How do you use that as a teaching tool 
uh, heading into this big weekend. There you go again, Adam, keeping me humble. Okay, great job. <laughs> Uh, but uh, anyway, when, when you give up that many hits uh, and, and still win a ball game, uh, you've got to look one and see, well, what did you do right? I uh, had uh, one person come up and say, well, hey, you had more runs. Uh, I guess you can look at it that way, although it was just one, one more run and a, and a big hit that you could run around all the bases uh, instead of just, you know, one or two. So that's how we won that one. But, Adam, I do hope that we learn from it. I mean, I reminded our, our pitchers. Uh, we have got to, to keep the ball down. We have got to keep them off balance. Everything's got to be working tomorrow. But on the same token, we need to be that effective in the batter's box ourselves. Uh, we need to hit the pitches we want to hit and not their pitches. Uh, so tomorrow it's got to be disciplined play, very disciplined play. Vic, pleasure as always. Good luck uh, against the Trojans Saturday. Okay, thanks, Adam. It's Carson Newman, head softball coach Vicki Kazee Hollifield. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is CNEagles.com.